That's awesome. That is my first kokanee on an ice fishing setup on open water. It was different. They're chunky little fish this year. First kokanee on an ice fishing setup. Got them right on the inside, right where they can't really pull out as easily. So that was perfect. I'm going to try just like ice fishing. This kokanee are swimming around as much as I really want to jump from one spot to another. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to see if they swim around, if they're swimming around this area. They may have to go 40 feet this way, 40 feet that way. If I can find these fish, and I can call them into me, I can save myself a lot of fuel this summer. I can catch some nice fish. There he is. I didn't even see him on the fish finder. He's fighting like a nice kokanee, just like through the ice. Now the trick here is getting the net ready. It's a nice fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's number two. That's pretty awesome. A little smaller. I'll take them. Number two on an ice fishing jig in open water. This is amazing. I can't believe this. Now because I'm getting these fish in the top of the mouth, just like ice fishing season, I'm setting my drag really tight, believe it or not. Contrary to what everyone else says, let them peel line. Because they're in the top of the mouth, they're in a really good spot. And they're not going to pull out. As if you get them in the side, they tend to pull out of the mouth. You get them in that top lip, that top of the mouth, and they bite it, they're not coming off. Now, would I use an ice fishing rod again? I'm not sure. A nice four-foot rod, maybe a lake trout rod, something that's a little bit more versatile. It can get me further away from the boat, and I'm not fishing right close to my motor. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to hook my motor. I haven't done it yet, but if I hook my motor, that could be a problem. I'm getting back into the fish. I just had a hit. I'm using my scented corn. There he is. Scented corn from ice fishing season. Now, I haven't quite figured out how to land them yet. With the net, I'm going to get a little bit of time that they might be able to get away. That's number three. I've been fishing, I don't know, 20 minutes. Third little kokanee on an ice fishing jig. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. Catch two more and I'm done.